Hi, I'm Jason Webster, Beck Cybert's Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead. Today we're out in the field today and I guess I'd like to talk a little bit about how we can handle some of this high amount of corn stalk residue out here in the field at harvest time. You know, today we've got a John Deere combine harvesting this corn today. On the front of that combine is a John Deere 608C corn head. We thought what we do is start evaluating snapping rolls on this corn head. So a half, this is an eight row corn head and on half the corn head we've got it equipped with standard John Deere snap and rolls. And uh, you can see we've got a lot of these stalks that are being cut with the snap and rolls. It's actually cutting them into about, oh, six to eight inch pieces. But these pieces don't have any, any cuts in them. Um, we're not fracturing this residue. We're not, it's just gonna take a while for this, this to break down. We're not cutting through the residue, allowing water to get inside of that pith to start that decaying process. We feel if we can get that to happen, these stalks may decay a lot quicker uh, so in the springtime, we might be able to handle some of this residue a lot easier. So that's the standard John Deere snap and roll. On the other half of the corn head, we have installed Yield 360 chain rolls. And I'm pretty happy with the way these chain rolls are working out in the field. First of all, if you just look at the difference in the stalks, the, the overall length of the stalks, we've got some stalks that are pretty long here. This is over 12, 13 inches long. And we've got the uh, uh, snapping rolls, um, the chain rolls from Yield 360. And you can see we've got smaller pieces. But one of the crucial things that the chain roll is doing for us is it's actually cutting through this residue. Look what it's doing here. We're leaving it in, in a piece that's about, uh, oh, four or five inches, a, a lot of these, probably five inches in length. But look how they're, they're still staying intact together. So we've got one, two, three, four, five pieces that have cuts and uh, fractures all the way through it, but it's gonna stay together in one piece. That's why they call it the chain roll, because it almost looks like lengths of a chain after it's been cut by these snapping rolls. But the nice thing about this is, there are actually two things. One, it's actually gonna cut through this residue, and it's gonna break down really fast. It's gonna be able to get that water in to start that decaying process like we, like we mentioned earlier. The other thing I like about this, in the springtime, we may come in with a planter. Say we're no-tilling soybeans, and we've got trash whippers on that planter. And as they're turning, we don't want to have to wipe away one, two, three, four, five pieces of residue. Wouldn't it be nice just to kick this whole thing out? And since it's attached, we can. So as long as that wheel hits it, it's going to throw this whole piece out of here. So two major advantages that the Yield 360 chain roll is going to have for us. So the Yield 360 chain roll, um, snap and rolls are doing exactly what we want them to do. They're doing a nice job of uh, uh, fracturing some of this residue, and I think this is going to look really good here in the spring. You know, one thing too, with Beck's Practical Farm Research, we've looked at the Yetter Devastator, another corn head attachment to uh, take care of some of this, this stock residue. We've also looked at corn chopping heads, and uh, all of them have done a really good job. One of the things we'd like to do this winter is start evaluating the overall cost of each of the, the, uh, the tools or the equipment and find out which one um, may be doing the best overall job in the form of economics and agronomics as well. It's one of the beautiful things about Beck's Practical Farm Research. Stay tuned for more details. We'll bring all the information to you as soon as we get it. This has been Jason Webster, Beck Cybers, Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead. Thank you so much for watching.